Hi. Could you hide Mount Everest if you're so inclined? To answer that, I'm going to use my son's Lego, which is very kindly donated, and satellites. Now, there's probably thousands of satellites orbiting Earth as we speak, and some of them are programmed to do different things, like map the surface of the planet. And they do that using radio waves, or in some cases, lasers, and they bounce that radio wave from the, from the satellite to the surface and back up it. We can calculate the two-way travel time, and we know the speed of sound or the speed of light if necessary, so we can um, tell how far away the satellite is. So it's how we make high-resolution maps of the entire planet. It's how we make higher resolution maps of all the planets, actually. So if we turn the satellite around and bounce the, the radio wave all the way to Mars, for example, uh, we could paint a very clear picture of what's going on on Mars. The Mars lens is held very well to uh, satellite imaging because it doesn't have any water. It doesn't have much of an atmosphere. So there's very little impedance for the satellite to go from A to B. So we can stitch all these images together in what's called a digital elevation model and have this fantastic image of Mars. Uh, we've seen some great things like the tallest planet in the solar system, which is Olympus Mons, and it's 25 kilometers high. Anyway, back to Earth. Got that satellite, turned around, so now we're facing our planet and we're sending radio waves on it. We can only make a high resolution map of 30%. That's because the other 70% is covered in water. And radio waves or light waves uh, get refracted through water, so we can't uh, make a very high resolution map. Back to Earth. Um, at 8,848 meters high, it's the tallest mountain on the planet. So could you hide it somewhere? Well, you couldn't really hide it anywhere else on land, could you? I mean, it would seem that anybody could see it from anywhere. So um, you could theoretically hide it and see if there's somewhere deep enough to put it. Here's Everest, not to scale. Now, the deepest part of the ocean is the bottom of the Marianas Trench. It's called Challenger Deep. It's 11,011 meters deep. So yes, you could plunk Everest into it and still have 2,163 meters of water above it in which to hide it. However, Everest is so large that it affects the gravitational field around it. And that means that it can grab the water above it and imperceptibly pull it towards it like this. And this is called a sea surface anomaly. It's only about five meters, maybe four or five meters high and over across maybe five or six miles, you wouldn't see it, but the satellites could see it over time. And this will give a very low resolution map of the sea floor. This is the kind of data that makes up um, Google Earth, for example. It's called satellite derived altimetry data. It's coarse resolution that gives a good indication of where things are and if there's the features on the seabed, but you can't really do much with it by that. Now today is World, o World Oceans Day. So if we need to manage a map or marine resources effectively, we're going to need high resolution maps to do that. We're going to need to know exactly where these features are and how big they are. There's currently only about 15 or 20% of the oceans mapped in high resolution. Ireland, for its part, has 80% mapped of its waters, so we're well ahead of the curve. Something to bear in mind. Anyway, back to the question. Could you hide Mount Everest? Yes, we're running for a little while.